morning guys. Started the day off bright and early today. Uh, we got a small little issue with a unit that came in. Uh, basically this one's got a slow boost and uh, the temperature, uh, the little probe on the exhaust manifold is not reading the proper temperatures on this and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the temperature probe first and take it off a little spin see if that takes care of the issue if it doesn't uh, those turbos have to come off and uh, we have to clean those turbos out but by the looks of it i think we're going to luck out just by replacing that probe and while we're at it i'm going to go ahead and clean out that seventh injector the dozer injector on this one so let me go ahead and get to this one uh, i'm going to remove a couple of items uh, this tube the turbo tube the air cleaner the bellow all that stuff's going to come out so that I can expose a little bit more of the area where the temperature probe is located at. So let me go ahead and remove all that stuff. Oh guys, it's a little sensor that we're going to go ahead and replace. It's going to be this one right here. This is the temperature probe. Connects right here. All you got to do is remove from here and pull this off. I'm not going to try and clean it or nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and replace this one. And of course, while we're here, inside of the turbo is clean. So slow boost ain't coming from turbo. And we're going to go ahead and do that, that little dozer injector right there. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this done. We always uh, have to place an order for this little temperature probe, so... I mean, it should be in here today. I just got to wait on this one until it comes in so we can go ahead and replace it. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get that dozer injector done and see what else this unit might need. And then we'll just uh, go ahead and replace this when we do re get it from the data. Oh, yes. Well, guys, as you can see, uh, injector the dozer injector is pretty filthy it's got a whole bunch of soot deposit on the tip and that little valve is semi open so this injector is functioning properly i'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get this and cleaned out make sure that the sprayer sprays a fine mist and doesn't drip or shoot out diesel and um, and also that port over there where this little dozer uh, screws into uh, sometimes the soot builds up in the bottom, creates a plate that plugs up the hole to where even if the injector were to try to function, fuel won't go into the exhaust, it won't go into the DPF filter, so it won't clean anything. So I'm going to go ahead and poke in there and make sure that it ain't blocked off. If it is, I have to remove that plate and remove all that soot deposit that's on the exhaust manifold. So let me go ahead and get this one cleaned out and we'll go ahead and check that one in a bit. Well guys, uh, let me go ahead and check that port. Make sure that it's not, not, it's, there's nothing obstructing it. So we can go ahead and install our cleaned dozer injector. Uh, let me go ahead and make, make this a little faster. Uh, well, guys, that uh, temperature probe is back on, and we went ahead and got that dozer injector back on. So let's go ahead and put this one back together, finishing it off.
Well guys, uh, this one, I'm gonna keep it running for a while, but uh, take in the light, turn on the unit, take in the light was off because I kinda, I, I killed, disconnected the battery, so basically the system reset itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it run for a while, take it for a little spin, uh, <clears throat> bring it back into the shop, and if uh, the check engine light doesn't turn back on, that's still not a fix. I'm gonna go ahead and rescan it, make sure that temperature probe is uh, reading the temperatures, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple of retents on this one, see if that helps it a little bit more. But uh, the slow boost issue, I mean, uh, turbo is actually responding the way it's supposed to. So uh, because of the code, I guess the ECM went into a limp mode. Uh, unit was uh, couldn't do more than 30 miles an hour. So right now, since I did disconnect the battery, it's running the way it's supposed to. I mean, I actually got throttle response and all that. So I still need to check this one, check back on this one, scan it, make sure that everything's okay before I call this one done. All right, guys, let me take it out for a spin and just see what happens. Well, guys, uh, got back back with the unit, took it for a drive. Uh, unit seems to be behaving the way it's supposed to. Uh, on this one, fuel pressures are up on uh, boost. Nothing. There's no no slow response. Nothing like that. Uh, probe is picking up temperatures. I mean, I'm getting the exhaust temperature. When I ran the regen, uh, now it'll actually kick in. Temperature hits up 500. After 500. Dozer injector kicks in, starts dumping just diesel fuel into the uh, DPF filter, bringing the temperatures up to a thousand, and uh, basically cleaning itself. So it seems to be running or functioning properly. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one fixed. And uh, well, I mean that's all we can do for this one. Go ahead, and take it back out, and see what's next. All right, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, like and subscribe.